Hey guys, welcome to How To Do Computers. I'm Mike, and today we'll be looking at passing physical drives through to guest machines in Proxmox. There are a number of reasons you might want to do this. For instance, we have a file server here, and we don't want all of the data being served to reside entirely in the VM's virtual hard drive. That would make backing up the image extremely inefficient, and we might also want the ability to extract data directly from the hard drive by simply removing it and accessing it from another computer if necessary. Giving a VM direct access to hardware can also improve performance by removing any additional overhead introduced from extra layers of abstraction. In our case, we have an extra one terabyte hard drive, which I want to use to store media and other files to serve to other machines in our environment. Side note here, any commands used in this video will be down in the description below. So we already have our file server created and configured. That would be svr-fs01. I won't go over any initial setup instructions here. You may need to have the Vert IO iSCSI drivers installed in order for it to detect the hard drive. To do that, go to Proxmox's website, download the Vert IO Win Drivers ISO, and then run the installer that is on the root of the disk. I'll be sure to drop a link to that in the description as well. So let's get started. The first thing we need to know is which disk we'll be passing through. So go ahead and go to your node, and then go down to disks, and then take note of which disk you want to pass through. In our case, it's dev SDA. And then also take note of the VM ID of the VM that you want to pass the hard drive to. Our file server, FS01, is VM ID 103. So now we'll go up to shell, and then we'll enter the following command. ls-n slash dev slash disk slash by dash ID slash. This will give you a unique identifier for each disk. We want to mount the UUID rather than the mount point on the off chance that the mount point changes, which I've had happen before, and it can cause some confusion. So here we can see the SCSI ID for SDA. We will want to right click and copy that. And then we'll enter another command, slash sbin, slash qm, set, and then the VMID, which is 103, dash vert io2, slash dev, slash disk, slash by dash ID slash, and then we'll paste in the disk ID. Hit enter. And it looks like the disk was passed through. You can double check by going to your virtual machine, click on hardware, and then down here we should see an additional hard disk has been mounted. There's one more thing to do here after the hard drive has been mounted. Go ahead and double click to open up the properties and make sure that the checkbox next to backup is deselected. Otherwise, when you run a backup job on this machine, it will try to include this entire hard drive in the backup, which will make the backup enormous and will defeat the entire purpose of having this separate hard drive passed through to the virtual machine in the first place. Hit OK. And now we will go back up to the console. And then if you open File Explorer, you'll see that the disk, although it's been passed through to the machine, is not showing up. This is because we still need to make the disk available in Windows Partition Manager. So go down to the Start menu, right click, and then go to Disk Management. Here you'll find the disk that's been passed through. Right click, and then select Online. And then we'll go ahead and make a new simple volume. Hit Next, Next. Let it assign the drive letter E. Next again. Leave it as NTFS, and then we'll call the volume label Data. Next and finish. Alright, so now we should have full access to this hard drive, and here we go. The drive can now be directly accessed by the virtual machine and can be used as storage for the VM. So, that about wraps it up for now. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, or if you run into any issues, let me know down below, and I will see you in the next video.